Hi everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. It just excited, elated. We're here at one of our projects that we had built a long time ago and we're revisiting this. Now, you probably have heard of the name or the, the concept of aquaponics. It's where you take fish water and you uh, feed it to vegetables and the vegetables get huge. So it's soilless gardening. There's no soil with it. It's a fabulous concept. It's actually kind of taking hold. We had a meeting last Friday, or excuse me, last Saturday, and I had a ton of people come over and check it out. So I'm in El Segundo, California, and the reason I'm yelling is because there's the airport, LEX airport. We're just in their backyard. It's just like uh, across the street. But I wanted to show you a little piece of paradise and the fact that here's a beautiful pond. It actually made it on the cover of a magazine a long time ago. It's been in a few articles. It's, in fact, it's on the front cover of uh, Reader's Digest, uh, the Pond Bible, or the Water Garden Bible, excuse me. And uh, it's, got, it's got fish in there. Well, it's more than just a thing of beauty. What we did was we added a second pump. We, uh, there's an Awasa pump in here. It's a sustainable pump. It's a little, what looks like a little black uh, turtle shell. And the reason for that being is that when leaves fall on it, they cut the ribs on the pump kind of break down the leaves and it'll suck them through. It's a solid sandling pump. Well, the point being that it's it's a the pump, it's a second pump. Now, what is that second pump used for? It actually pumps pond water that's nutrient rich from the fish. It it um, pumps it up this tube. You can check this out, pumps it in the tube, and there's holes about every foot and so these pools you can actually see it's on right now there's actually water in here check that water out it's actually inside it's actually running now she's uh, uh, the homeowner is going to plant this and it's going to get fed water every 15 uh, minutes 15 minutes on 15 minutes off and then the return is right down the end of the pipe here you can see where there's the, the end of the pipe, and then it goes down, and there's a return into the riverbed, which goes back into the pond again. And so, the interesting thing, though, as we noticed, is that it, uh, it hasn't been planted yet, so you can see the water running there. That water, uh, if, if the... Um, what if the roots grow really big inside the pipe right, right here and it plugs up water will come out the side so we put this uh gutter that was part of the old old gutter and put it there so in case that ever happens you have peace of mind that the water is not falling out of the pond but it's falling into the gutter and then the gutter goes into the uh waterfall see there it is it's uh, aquaponic water and that's what's going to feed plants in the future and we just absolutely love this way of growing because you can save about 95 percent water over a traditional soil garden you can put leafy greens and so on so um, check this place out too these are decorative chairs I guess you could sit here if you wanted to and then when we built the pond, we actually put step stones through it, so you can actually step through it. And then there's fish in there. We've got a big uh, jacaranda tree. It's a re really, really pretty pond, but it's more than just pretty. It's functional. It's growing food. If you're gonna have fish, why not have? Why not get a vegetable garden out of it too? Everybody's worried about the drought if you're in Southern California. Aquaponics is the key. If aquaponics is part of the solution rather than the problem. Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.